Hi there. In this Data Bytes episode, we're going to talk about our mobile apps, its navigation, and two very popular features, alerts and dashboards. The Norelic mobile app places the power of Norelic in your pocket and putting key observability experiences at your fingertips. The mobile app focuses on alerting, early diagnosis, sharing information, and connecting teams, especially if when you're on the go and not at your computer. Whereas the desktop experience allows for deep diagnosis and fixing issues. Our goal is to seamlessly flow between those two user journeys. Our core mobile app is available for iPhone, iPad, as well as Android phone and tablets, all of which you can find on the Apple App Store and Google Play Store, respectively. Let's start out by launching the app. After you've logged in, you'll land on the home page, which is a list of your favorites. This is the same list of favorites in the web version as well, and any new favorite that you add from here will reflect on the web experience. Other items at the bottom navigation include the Explorer, your one-stop shop to all entities in your account, dashboards providing quick access to the custom dashboards you've put together, Alerts allows you to review and acknowledge open issues and incidents. And Query brings up the Query Explorer, allowing you to create and execute ad hoc Nurkle, including recent queries that have been created from the web. From the home page, you can drill into any of your favorite dashboards and entities and interact with them, much like you would on the web. Clicking on the hamburger icon on the top left gives you an extended menu, which includes all of the items in the bottom navigation, but a few more popular items, including APM, browser synthetics, mobile infrastructure, and key transactions. Let's dive into one of our most popular features, alerts and AI. If you're early into your Norelic journey, the best time to install the mobile app is right after you've configured your alert conditions and workflows. To do this, after you've installed the Norelic mobile app and logged in, go to the Norelic web app and under Alerts and AI, click on the Destinations area. Then select Mobile Push. This will automatically populate with the email and user ID of your currently logged in user. Click on Test Connection, and you should receive a notification on your device. If that all works, awesome. All we need to do is save that, and we're now ready to set that as a destination uh, in one of our workflows. Under Workflows, select the workflow you'd like to add a mobile push to. In my case, I'm going to use the mobile push demo workflow. Then. Under Add Channel, select Mobile Push. Under the dropdown, select your phone as the destination and then hit Save. You can optionally send a test notification to verify that it works. Otherwise, hit Save Message. Now, whenever an alert goes off, you'll receive a push notification, providing immediate awareness that there's an issue requiring your attention. Going back into the app, and under the Alerts and AI Bottom Navigation, we'll see a list of recently opened issues in the last 30 minutes. On the top right, you can filter by time frame, or filter by priority and state. Clicking into an issue allows us to see the detailed issues and optionally close or acknowledge the issue as well as see the related incidents. If we want to see all incidents, we can go right back to the top and click on the incidents navigation item and we'll see all of those open items as well. One of the most popular features are the dashboards. This will show you all the dashboards already set up in your account. Any of your favorites will be listed first. As we click into a dashboard, they'll be rendered sequentially in the order that you've set them up on the web. From here, we can further filter down on the data by using the filter icon on the top left. 
This allows you to filter by attribute or value. And you can also change the time frame by clicking on the top right. An easier way to do this, though, is simply to use a two-finger gesture and start to pinch in. You can also scroll left and right. Let's zoom into one of the widgets to get an expanded view by clicking into it. When investigating, you may want to get an exact value from a point in time in the chart. That's pretty easy to do. Just hold your finger down and start to drag, and you'll start to see the exact values. You can also toggle a time series on and off. And lastly, if you're on iOS, you can save a dashboard as a home screen widget, making it even easier to keep a pulse on the things that you care about. Let's take a look at how that works. Click on the top right and select Add to Widgets. Then go to your home screen, hit the plus sign, search for Norelic, choose the view that you want to use, click on Add Widget, and you're done. Currently, we're in the works to support dashboard variables, so stay tuned for that. And we also have Android widget support in the near future. In closing, hopefully that's given you a bit of a taste of the few things that you can do in the Norelic mobile app. We're always interested in your feedback so that we can improve the experience. Let us know what you like, even what you don't like, and what you'd like to see in the future. Under the left navigation, you'll see an option called Help Us Improve. Go ahead and click on it and fill it out. That'll go directly to us, the mobile apps team, or if you'd like, go ahead and email us at mobileappsupport at norelic.com. We look forward to you in the next video. Thank you for your time.